So Codex started in 2006 um, with a digital recording solution for um, what was then the best digital cameras on the market. Um, as technology moved on, digital cameras got better, our recording solutions got smaller, lighter, more compact and easier to use. Um, we then branched into offering workflow solutions for post-production. So being able to, to take that data and deliver it in, a, in an efficient, secure and meaningful way. Um, and that's what we specialize in. Productions that have used Codex Workflow are things like Skyfall, Gravity, um, the Avengers films, Iron Man films. So it's used generally at high-end feature films, but equally can be employed to shoot um, any number of, uh, of digital productions. Most people have HD TVs at home. 4K gives you four times the amount of information, so four times the amount of data is captured from the next generation of digital film cameras. It's, um, essentially, you, you have a sensor that is a 4K sensor, so it will have a certain amount of pixel of sights within the sensor, 4,000 lines in one way and just over 2,000 lines the other way. Um, as the light hits the sensor, that's turned into an electronic signal, which then gets transmitted to a codex recorder and is then stored on a solid state media drive. So visual effects departments um, always want more resolution. That's, uh, that's a kind of golden rule. So with 4K, even if the output for final delivery is a 2K output, um, giving them 4K data means that they have so much more to play with. They can push into images, um, they can crop out bits that they don't need. And for things like compositing, where you need very, very sharp edges, you get that definition and detail. And that's really, really important to, to that stage of a workflow. On the shoot day, we captured somewhere between three and four terabytes of data. Uh, that was off four cameras shooting over an entire day. Once that was slimmed down to a seven minute final piece, we had about 350 gigs of final output, um, which is roughly equivalent to most people's laptop hard drive. We have a range of um, what we call capture drives, which are essentially um, hard disks or solid state media disks. Um, we currently do half terabytes, uh, which gives you a, approximately 38 minutes of record time. Um, these are cased in CNC aluminium, so they're very strong, very robust, and it's a very high-end technology. Half a terabyte capture drive from Codex will capture approximately 38 minutes of 4K RAW. But that's actually a pre-processed file, so you can expect that to, to double or even quadruple once it's been processed. Um, I got to know Clive just under a year ago uh, when I got a rather strange phone call on a, on a Thursday evening. Um, with Clive saying that he had a camera and had a recorder and been given an extra camera and could I provide a recorder for it. A couple of phone calls later and um, all hell had broken loose. We, uh, we ended up with four cameras shooting on jibs, slow-mo um, and static as well. Um, because of the amount of data we were going to actually generate in this uh, short catwalk piece, we employed one of the Codex Vault systems, which is a, a solution that manages data um, from the point of capture and all the way through to the post-production delivery. So Codex can handle a 4K workflow. Uh, if you're recording with the Canon C500 and you record to the Codex uh, onboard S recorder, we take that 4K image onto a capture drive and from that capture drive, we then ingest it into a system. The most popular choice is the Codex Vault, uh, and this is a, essentially a computer, but a, a quite a sp specialist computer. You can ingest the media, secure it to um, other storage devices within the system. Uh, you can archive it to what's called LTO tape. Um, and LTO tape is a, an archive format that's used by the banking industry, by oil expedition, um, and it's a very secure way of, of maintaining your digital negative for years to come. I believe it has a 50-year shelf life, so essentially, if you archive to LTO in 40 years, you should still be able to read that data back and, um, and do something with it. We also uh, have a range of tools that allow you to um, quality check the material, 
um, to color balance the material, and to turn the data into usable file formats for different parts of the post-production workflow chain. So your editors might need one file type, your visual effects department might need another file type, and the system is able to make all those files from that original data without ever compromising the, the digital negative that's retained in its, in its full glory. Codex got involved in this project, um, one, because it was a request that came in and our close association with Canon means that you know, we like to support Canon projects. Um, but equally it's of interest because 4K commercials, uh, 4K shooting fashion in 4K, these are things that in the, within the next some six months will be normal. Um, and we want to be at the forefront of that. We've been at the forefront of digital capture and workflow for, for some years now, and we're keen to stay ahead of that uh, by offering solutions that can be used by any, um, any number of uh, productions, from feature films through to you know, small commercials. So actually viewing 4K is possible in the home. You do have um, 4K TVs available on the market to buy, uh, and the cost of those is coming down dramatically. Uh, you can also see it in the cinema. Uh, IMAX can do 4K. You can also see 4K in a range of, um, of normal cinemas. I think the VU cinema company has actually rolled out 4K uh, screening rooms across all of their sites. So where you might start to see 4K imagery is um, it's high-end shops, point of purchase. Um, we see a lot of um, high-end retail outlets now moving to 4K panels so that what they are showing customers and people that walk past the shops is the ultra-sharp, ultra-clear, ultra-vibrant imagery that you would see if you happen to be sitting on the front row of the catwalk. So that's now being transcribed to the, um, to the customer on the street so they can actually get a feeling for what it was like to actually be there. The, uh, the clarity and the detail in, in 4K imagery, it's like you're in the room. Um, and I think that has got to be a massive benefit to, um, to the commercial market. You can also um, actually grab still images from the moving, um, from the moving imagery. Um, and this is actually proving to be very useful because um, some photographers are, are just moving into motion capture and have a very much a stills background. Equally, you have people that are you know, used to shooting moving images and want to move into a stills background. You can actually now, with these cameras, shoot moving images, pull frames from them, and actually use those in campaigns. Um, so, you know, the tie-in between your moving image and your still image is, it's the same thing, essentially. Um, and that's, I think, a really useful tool for, for cinematographers and for photographers to, um, to exploit to its full potential.